One ball, one strike on Courtney Moore. Playing third base today for the Lady Bulldogs. You know, we've been following her career for a long time, right here on Y101, especially during rec ball. There's a liner into left field, solid base hit. In comes Braddock to score the Lady Bulldogs' first home run of 2016. And Courtney Moore with her third hit. Two yesterday, one today, and here's Lillian Pittman. 1-1 one, one pitch, bouncing ball back to Thompson. From the circle, she throws to first base for the third out. There's some damage control in the top of the second inning, leaving the bases loaded without yielding a run. It is 6-1, to one, New Hampstead leading, going to the bottom of the second inning as we take a break on Y101. We go buy an umbrella, get a golfing umbrella. They're bigger, they're sturdier. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. So for the second inning, Taylor Thompson could have given up a run. This time she leaves runners on first and second and gets the big K. Let's see if the Lady Bulldogs can score some runs. They're down 6-1 to one going to the bottom of the third as we take a break on Y101. One out, runner at third. Here's a pitch to Thompson. Bouncing ball up the middle off the glove and a base hit. And a run scores as Amanda Powell touches home. And Taylor Thompson has her second hit of the season. An RBI base hit. And makes it 6-2. to two. Pitch to Moore, swings and hits it into left field once again. She's two for two, runners on first and second. Brings up Pittman. Tell you, these three, four and hitter, three, four and five hitters can be imposing if you're the opposing pitcher. Two, two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. She's done it again. Got out of a big time jam, leaving the bases loaded. Lady Bulldogs down six to two as we move to the bottom half of the fourth inning on Y101. The Tombs now Facebook page. I got a shot of this one. Bouncing ball, smothered by Brown on the line, but she doesn't have a play. The third base girl not able to get up. Megan Dukes reaches on an infield hit. Good start for the Lady Bulldogs. First pitch. Swings and hits it up high into the air. This ball is going to be caught by the left fielder, DePeister, and that's going to score a run. Another well-hit ball, but Taylor Thompson. So she gets a sack fly, and Toombs County scores another single run to make it 6-3, to three, her second RBI of the game. But the weather's better. Ball's popped up in the air. Can anybody get to it? It bounces, and nobody's going to get to it. That'll be an infield hit, and the bases are loaded again on a little blooper to the left side of the infield with a shortstop Bell coming in and the third baseman Brown coming in and Shearhouse coming out of the circle, but nobody could get to it. Two outs, runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. Bouncing ball back to Moore from the circle. She throws to first and Lady Bulldogs finally get the third out, but New Hampstead scores four big runs to make the 6-3 game 10-3 going to the bottom half of the fifth inning as we break on Y101. Here's a pitch. Kira Williams bunting it. And Sharos will throw it over first and late. Runners on first and second. Kira Williams, who had three hits yesterday with her first hit today. Runners on first and second. So Courtney Moore delivers her pitch. Call it strike three to end the inning. And now New Hampstead leads 13-3, going to the bottom of the six, which could be the final inning of this ball game as we take a break on Y101. Lady Dogs down 13-3, down to their final strike and out. Pittman like a statue awaiting the pitch. Here it is. Rolls it over to Bell at short. She scoops it up, throws it over to first to end the ball game. And New Hampstead beats Toombs County 13 to three. Winning by the run rule in six. We'll take a break and wrap it up on Y101.